Hi guys, this is Anna from Anna and Ivy and today I will show you another way how to animate text inside of Photoshop. I got a request and um, I realized <laughs> that my other tutorial only works for images with a plain or one colored background and the girl who asked me said she wants to animate the font with a photo in the background. So I realized the other tutorial <laughs> doesn't work with this. So I want to show you a quick and easy method how to animate your font or make it fade in inside of Photoshop while having an image, another one colored background in the back. <laughs> yeah, here we go. So it's quite easy. Um, first of all, I already prepared my background and I have some words over here and I will animate the hello and the sunshine. So first of all, we will make a mask. Here we go, and the hello and the sunshine. The second, we will mask the word hello and sunshine out on each layer. And for this, we simply use the um, rectangular marquee tool <laughs> and simply drag it over here and create a rectangle which is a bit bigger than the text itself because we will blur it out in the next step to make a smooth kind of uh, transition. Here we go, position it somewhere in the middle and then while your second color is black, simply remove it. Here we go. And we will make the same thing with the sunshine text and remove it also. The next step is to uh, make it a bit blurry so we have a smooth transition. So you can make it from here to check if your text is still invisible or you can hold out on your keyboard and change to the masked view and then simply go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. Here we go, we make it a bit more blurry, so change back. And now you can see none of our font is visible. This is very important because when you blur it too much, it can happen that I will show you that you will see the font at some point. Here we go. So simply uh, do the same thing on the other layer. Here we go. Let me see how much blur it is. Yes, perfect. So next step is to disconnect the text from the um, mask. Simply click on the small chain over here and over here because we will animate the mask and not the text. And if it's connected, you will move the text around too. So we want to want we don't want to do this. Here we go. <laughs> so next uh, step is to open the timeline. Go to Window and then Timeline. Here we go and uh, create video timeline. Don't create frame animation. This is something different. Click here and here we go. So we have these two layers which we want to fade in. So we will first fade in the hello and the first step is to make a layer mask position keyframe. This is over here. Make the keyframe and then go to maybe one second if you like to somewhere here. And now we will move the mask. So we have to hold command while we move the mask and we have to um, have our move tool selected. So select your move tool and then hold command on your keyboard and you will already see, we'll, we will make this invisible so we don't mess around. So hold command on your keyboard and if you like to, you can hold shift to make it more um, horizontal movement. So here we go. We will move this around to there. Here we go. So now our animation is basically done. When you press um, your spacebar on your keyboard, you can see the text is fading in. So here we go. We will close this and we will make a small locker on this um, frame because we don't want to mess around over here. 
Now make the sunshine visible. The same thing. Go to the timeline, then check your layer mask position where you want to start it. Somewhere here maybe. Go to layer mask, make a keyframe and then simply drag it to the right. This small thingy thing here. And with uh, holding command on your keyboard and maybe shift if you like, drag your mask to the right or to the left or wherever you want to drag it. So, one information uh, besides that, you have to make sure where you grab your mask. So, for example, I will remove this now, for now. When I touch my mask with holding command and I touch it over here somewhere and I want to drag it to the right and my cursor goes out of the um, Canva, it will stop and then jump back. So make sure your cursor is somewhere away from your um, frame end. <laughs> or how, I don't know how to call it, but I think you get, uh, get what I mean. So drag it completely to the right, but make sure that your cursor doesn't um, go over your or over the end of your Canva. Does it make sense? I hope so. So <laughs> here we go. Now we have the small animation and that's basically it. So it's really easy. I haven't thought about this to be honest in the last tutorial but if you have any kind of requests or something like this if you want to know how to animate things inside of Photoshop please let me know and I can make a tutorial to show you how it works. <laughs> so oh, we have to um, render our video to save it so go to file, export, then um, render video, <laughs> um, check your size, it has to be document size otherwise it can be really really big and annoying to render. Then we call it somehow Hello Sunshine, here we go and then render. Dun, 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 dun. Takes a few seconds. Here we go. Our video is finally done. Oh, one information I forgot to mention this. Um, I will put this uh, Photoshop document inside of the description so you can simply download it and check my settings. Uh, to see if you got the same settings <laughs> somehow and uh, just one information if you don't have this font it's from Nikki Lartz um, I will link it also in the description but if you don't have it already it doesn't matter because you can use another font um, just keep in mind when you open the document the font will change to another font you already have on your computer so only keep this in mind in case you are surprised to not have this font inside of the document. I hope you enjoyed this and I wish you a lot of fun with animating text inside of Photoshop. <laughs> Bye!